Have you ever imagined a devil fruit so powerful that if added to blocks fruits, it could break the game? Well, that's where I come in. I asked all of you to send me your craziest and most powerful devil fruit ideas you want added to blocks fruits, and I will get them made so your ideas can come to life. The rules were use your own imagination and give an explanation of your crazy devil fruit, its powers, and limitations. There's literally hundreds of suggestions. So I started by picking 10 of these insane fruits, and the first one comes in from I. Name the blood blood devil fruit model paramecia which means it's not an element this fruit already look crazy now boys the key is to use your imagination let's see what i said for the powers this devil fruit allows the user to control blood and take blood from a person to heal or use he said it's something similar to sanguine but a dedicated fruit would be crazier but have you guys ever seen avatar the last airbender imagine these same blood powers but with the abilities of water every living human in the world has blood in their body what if you were allowed to manipulate their blood i will you could probably curl them up into a pretzel fold them just make them die on the spot and in blocks roots constant blood suck moves just depleting people's health that may be too broken so let's check the limitations this is a single target fruit so it's not good for grinding and while you are controlling blood you have to use your own or your enemy's blood oh actually that's kind of interesting he said the more blood you consume from yourself or your enemy these effects will be applied nausea darker vision unable to use observation flash step and slower speed now for the ability to like bend your opponent and not let him fight back i think it is fair that if someone tries to jump you you just get jumped it's just like being able to manipulate someone's body using your own blood and theirs could be crazy but say you use your own wouldn't you be then losing blood making you like unconscious slower or like just weaker in general think about it the less blood a human has how are they supposed to function so maybe the fruit could make it like smoothie from one piece the more blood you suck the stronger your moves get which could be kind of crazy think about it ten thousand damage moves like imagine that after you like suck up like three players pause now he did have a few moves for the fruit some consisting of blood sucking tick damage moves that literally decay players as well as aoe that shoots plasma blood and blood drop that allows you to shoot blood wings out of your back and fly now our boy got pretty creative with the first fruit so i can only imagine what number two is this one comes in from not qt and it's called the space space no me oh now nah, you're talking about language type of fruit logia powers number one grants control over space and stars two can use black holes to put people in a room that no one could enter number three make it so gravity does not affect the user and the last power is the user can turn into a god like human and can control all things like time air gravity atoms oh nah that's way too busted bro first of all this fruit looks crazy and then the fact that it's a logia oh nah that, that's like imagine portal being a logia no 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 this this is not no portal forget this bro talking about controlling space and stars a space space no me is a fruit that could exist in blocks fruits but i mean like if kitsune is worth what four thousand robux this may have to be ten thousand it's a fruit that could maybe hover around like angel v4 because gravity doesn't work you could teleport even put people into your own domain expansion now maybe you could give it like a better gravity pull down or even have it so it drops meteors from the sky like fujitora or maru uchiha now a logia is an element typically no user could hit a logia unless they have hockey so the fact that space is an element in itself and you could even control atoms to make people just explode you see where i'm going with this this fruit by far is something that can break blocks fruits have you come up with something crazier yet let's move on so fruit number three it comes in from will of d but i'm not a rapper the name of the fruit given is the body body no me aka the v4 fruit now now this is kind of creative like it's still in blocks fruits but it's kind of crazy like look at the model devil fruit type paramecia now here's the description this fruit will have the powers of all the races in blocks fruit and it's said that the race v3 skills will even become moves for the limitations he says that once you eat this fruit you will lose your race completely like your actual race like you're not a man no more that means you don't get no passive v3 abilities like the angel heal or cyborg but this is what d said instead of normal fruit moves for example z move would be switch this move would allow the user to switch between the races so you don't have all four at once that that would be kind of busted bro but then he got even more specific say you switch and you land on the human race 
face. He said there's RNG to it. Or maybe it's just an order. He said for human, it'll apply like V4. You'll have a move that teleports you. Moves that give you a damage buff. A move that makes you do more damage the lower health you get. And even with all the human V4 abilities, you could still switch. So maybe they could stack if you do them fast enough. Oh my gosh, that would be crazy. Now he included Cyborg, Angel, Shark, Rabbit. Now picture this fruit. Now where you could go ahead, switch the shark. Use an ability that lets you survive in the water. Switch the human. Give yourself all the damage buffs and flash depths. Quickly switch to like Rabbit. Super speed. And then before your thing runs out, you go to Cyborg for, for the extended combo electric blast that will literally pack somebody up and turn them into an omelet. Oh my gosh. This fruit is busted. Let alone ghoul. Imagine you switch to ghoul and you have bats flying around you and then you passively get even faster at night. It's like make times two. Oh nah. Oh nah. Nah, you know, now that I think about it, that would definitely have to be a sword main fruit because your moves don't necessarily do damage, but passive damage is more than enough. Like that cyborg T move, bro. Nah. But I think that idea is fire. On to fruit number four. Now this one comes in from creator and bro listed me like 10 different fruits but out of all those fruits the fruits i chose he called the celestial celestial fruit now i know this is a fruit that's been hinted to even be added to blocks fruit look at it you've seen this in youtube thumbnails and maybe even concept game but what is a celestial even power grants control over celestial bodies allowing the user to manipulate the positions and movements of the stars oh my god the moons oh my god and other celestial objects limitations the power is ineffective during the day and manipulation of celestial bodies requires deep concentration celestial bodies bro what does that even mean i searched it up on youtube and i seem to found a video so this is supposed to be an example of what a celestial being is okay so it's a person he's holding a staff and okay he slammed the earth and put purple in it that's kind of that oh shoot oh that's where the purple and the fruit comes from oh now that's not even fair what now could you imagine i had a staff like something like the fox lamp and and i i hit the ground and the whole world just blows up <laughs> What kind of fruit is that? Now, if you blocks fruitify it, I, I guess it could work. You give it some abilities, like maybe you could have like celestial shot and it shoots like purple orbs at him. Or you could have like celestial ray or beam. And then it just like you start blasting people like a... <laughs> Like a Kamehameha wave? Wait, that's hinting at a fruit coming later. Oh, these fruits are crazy. For people that know JoJo, you know that Made in Heaven like can literally reset the universe. So imagine there's a move you have that makes the moon just like fly by infinitely <laughs> and you can turn it to nighttime and maybe it works like every five minutes. So then your powers actually get stronger. No, that'd be crazy. Yo, oh my gosh, bro, bro, bro. Ha, ha, I'm freaking out, I'm freaking out. <laughs> Yo, either way, I'm here for a celestial fruit and I'm hoping that the devs do see this video. Ripindra, if you're watching this, please, put our fruits in the game. The boys have worked very hard on these. Now we on the fruit number five. Now the fifth fruit comes in from N and the devil fruit is the Leviathan fruit. Now if you guys have seen the Leviathan of Blocks fruit, look at it. It's in the game. So imagine having power literally related to this crazy beast. Now if we take a quick look, the Leviathan pretty much only acted kind of like a sea beast. It shot blasts out his mouth. But what if we added some more to the fruit? Let's dive into the powers of limitation. So for the power, not only do you become a Leviathan, but you're able to use all the moves in base form, like maybe tidal waves, blast shocks of water. But for limitations, let's see what our boy said. As they move away from those sources, their powers progressively weaken, reducing their effectiveness at a distance. Yo, no, that's a perfect nerf, honestly. Because look, well, okay, well, 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 maybe not in blocks. Okay, but take this in. Say you're fighting at somewhere like the Turtle Mansion here, right? Your powers could be like the base form trident. You see the water pulse? It's pretty weak. It's pretty underwhelming. So it'd be hard to fight someone. But listen to this. What if you went to a location like this near water to fight someone? Then all of a sudden your moves turned into this. Just larger, stronger blast. And you can even like grab tidal waves and throw them. So do you guys think a Leviathan on land would be okay? Now he did give some moves. For the M1, he's saying it would be like Leviathan bites. For the other moves, it'd be like launching a tidal wave, shooting moves that stun the user, just like the dragon tried. Another move to throw water strikes. And for the F mobility moves, you ride a water serpent. That would be pretty valid. I think that could be added to the game it's just a matter of like what do you do when the leviathan has to be on land now let me know if y'all think a land water dragon could work because i'm moving on to the next fruit the next one comes in from king izzy and the fruit's name is the devi devi no me aka the devil devil fruit <laughs> 
what now he even gave it a price at 3.75 million belly now that's pretty reasonable since it'll probably be a mythical Ma matter of fact all these fruits all these fruits are gonna be mythicals bro they're here to break the game now i do like this idea because i believe it stems right from one piece itself now without getting into too many spoilers the gorosei in one piece is known to be an elite group filled with like evil leaders with evil power and we heard that one of them could have this ability of being a devil demon the abilities of this fruit would be to cause havoc like like a devil would and it's actually kind of balanced if you look at its abilities our boy talked about its powers being like shooting dark purple flames as one you know that that's that's kind of like shadow like we have that in blocks fruits but, but shadow uses bat another would be a screech kind of like the ghost fruit he even thought about moves like demon wings allowing you a power buff and the ability to fly demonic rage like the fruit instead of a transformation bar it's also a rage bar so the higher the bar is the more damage you do now the t-rex fruit is the first fruit in blocks fruits to actually have a passive bar that does passive damage like look at this so i don't really get a damage buff but I, I get the ability that the farther away i get the more they get scratched you see that right so imagine this devil fruit this devil devil fruit was like the same thing the farther away you get the more damage they take and also the higher your bar the fury meter the more damage you do it can also give you the abilities to transform into a demon which honestly i think overall is just like a, a balanced fruit i don't think it would be any more broken than kitsune probably a better version of the shadow fruit maybe but i did a pull up at community tab and 75,000 of you basically said yes you've actually watched one piece just imagine the fruit kind that makes you look like our boy mr saturn here in one piece now, not much is said about him we don't really know his power but it should be something related to that which means they should be able to add it to blocks fruits are y'all cut up on to fruit number seven this one comes in from death and it's called the gluttony gluttony fruit now shout out to my artist bro these fruit models are amazing look, look at this a fruit with a bunch of mouths on it like this could be in blocks fruit and did y'all notice they even shaped like blocks fruits like like come on bro now our boy who suggested this fruit is kind of wild because he said this would be an elemental type fruit with a cost of 10 million what okay now we have to read the description power a fruit that eats everything in its way it allows the user to become stronger every time you eat a player weaker on npc it has a range meter like v4s but it gets longer if the mastery gets higher it has a count of one to ten i'll call it an eat meter okay bro, bro, okay bro's literally giving the fruit an eat meter saying that if you go up to a player and you defeat him with this fruit maybe you have to eat him like the final move has to be an eat ability then you times your strength to 1.5 think about this what could the possibilities be there would have to be a limit but i feel the limitations are pretty fair because given you actually have to eat players or npcs to make the fruit useful kind of like v4 i assume the fruit will be pretty weak in base form so then getting kills to begin with may be very hard but say you do manage to get some kills after the first one maybe you're as strong as like a normal mythical fruit then after the second kill maybe you're like twice as strong as a mythical fruit three kills 2.5 four kills three times this could be cool in blocks fruit, but it may lead to players like feeding the gluttony fruit user like you walk up to him and you give your friend gluttony boost to make him even stronger and stronger now you could put a limit on this same way like if you kill a player three times you can't get bounty from him again in like three days you know but I don't know. It'd be already so hard to get powers on the fruit as it is. Let, let's get into the moves a little bit. He said one move would be void space and it would be a portal V ability. Nah, you're such a, a belly eater that you go up to him, munch him and bring him into a portal. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah that, that'd be dope. Nah, nah, okay, hold on. Death also gave him an ability like the barrier fruit where you can imprison people. Maybe like in your tummy. Yo, imagine. Oh my gosh, bro. Take this in. Imagine you had an ability where you could literally eat a player. Now, this one just sucks them up like, like your kirby from super smash bro and then imagine you had the shark race the trolls could be crazy you could go to a player like gluttony him suck him up and then maybe you're allowed to hold him in your belly for like 30 seconds in that time look you run to the water jump in with shark me v4 and just sit in the water until we die that <laughs> That would be crazy. Still a fire fruit. Which one's y'all's favorite so far? Comment down low. And we move it on to the next fruit, number eight. Now this one again comes in from creator. And if you were to ask me personally, like what fruit I would want in blocks fruits, this would be it. Besides the space space fruit, because that, that would just be a more broken portal. This fruit is called the Gino Gino fruit, aka the illusion fruit. Bro, just look at how trippy this fruit model is. You're like spinning into it. Absolutely beautiful, bro. That is fire. Let's dive into the powers 
creator says this fruit creates highly realistic illusions that can affect all senses the illusions can be used for deception distraction or confusing opponents the limitation strong wielded individuals can see through the illusions Ooh, and the illusions do not have physical substance i think what he means by that is the illusions can't hurt you it just puts you in like a constant genjutsu but look let's anime out for a second are y'all anime watchers let's talk you guys know Aizen from bleach he's literally gotta be my favorite villain in all of anime bro i love Aizen. his ability was the power of illusion now why i think this fruit would be amazing in blocks because how Aizen would work is if he waved his sword he would start seeing maybe like five of me all right so that would be crazy just like like shadow clones popping up that's the first move maybe another one could be like the portal it's a teleport but since it's an illusion you don't know what's happening number three could be like another portal teleport but you stay in the dimension longer but they don't see this you see this right here they don't see it maybe your character stays right there or he jumps around normally and then to get even crazier some sort of illusion just teleport movement has endless possibilities but it wouldn't be a fruit that does damage clearly if you're looking for a good fruit to like level grind that would not be it like this fruit would have to basically be only for pvp and i'm talking like it's portal but better bro i just like portal bro i imagine you could teleport in real life could you imagine that i haven't talked about them yet but since it's my favorite fruit maybe for awakenings it starts actually doing things like your illusions do damage you teleport and if you use a portal near someone it traps them there or you have trap moves that they get put into a genjutsu and they just have to stay right there bro i'm telling you the illusion fruits please blocks for depths if you're gonna ask something just for me please do that <laughs> that's been eight fruits so far two remain and we're moving on to number nine now y'all are gonna love this this one comes in from dark lord and all oh, y'all dragon ball fans finna love this he's calling this fruit the super super no me model saiyan <laughs> literally a super saiyan fruit look at it bro <laughs> nah this this is a troll this gotta be crazy dragon bro anime fans would just go crazy for this one indra are you listening basically this fruits would have the property of a saiyan from dragon ball which means base four moves would be like kamehameha way as you can see just like that but blue you would have a teleport ability you would have an instant transmission ability kind of like rumble you'd be able to fly you'd be able to do key blast like imagine like 50 of those for the v move we can literally give it a spirit Mom. now they're gonna say this is like a reworked rumble so maybe they won't put it in but okay check check this check this what if there was an awakening so imagine rumble with a rage meter and then you have a button that lets you go super saiyan which means for the time your rage meter is alive your moves are literally like three times bigger your teleport goes farther your instant transmission maybe they make it so you teleport right behind a player like you go like this you click a player you go like this boom you're behind them like from across the map and even having like the portal c move imagine an awakening instead of using portal to get everywhere you had another fruit that used instant transmission and boom you're at another location that that would be okay i, I know it's kind of like rumble but boys do y'all think that would be fire am i tripping i thought that would be he that you fighting someone it's like you hit that instant transmission boom come here mail boom <laughs> turn around spirit bomb like bro i think that would just be fun people would use that just for the fun but maybe there's another one that you have to charge your key that, that, that would be kind of annoying but it, it, it would still be dope bro what do y'all think now this one's coming in hot for our last fruit for our one piece fans out there because i know you watching this one comes in from our boy steven and he's calling this one the toy toy fruit this would break the game nah nah i know you sitting there like how how fiji how's a toy fruit gonna break the game oh boy did you watch the anime more specifically the movie now this is actually what the one piece model looks like and i think our blocks fruit version is even better if you don't recognize this girl the fruit is actually called the hobby hobby no me it's really in one piece this little girl was literally given the most broken powers in the show because it's not just like oh she transforms into a toy and she fights no no imagine this a blocks fruit she had the ability where any person she touched would turn into a toy nullifying every power they had look and all she would have to do is touch them touching someone would be kind of crazy pause pause but in blocks fruit it would be hard to tell like say i had the toy fruit right and i saw a player right here and i see this guy i'm like <laughs> got him <laughs> And then you tag them with the toy fruit. Then all of a sudden, he's a toy. His moves don't work anymore. He can't run. He can only walk. <laughs> now, the fruit isn't very strong. It's literally the weakest fruit, but the strongest fruit at the same time. Because now you have somebody who can't fight back, just like the anime. Now, this obviously requires you touching the player to make this ability even work. So that would be the main power. Now, in Block Fruits, there would have to be some sort of time limit. Like you hit a player and then he's a toy for like, what, a, a minute? But in that 10 seconds, that would be like an insanely free combo now the fruit could probably get comboed itself pretty easily you probably don't have any movement moves maybe the f move is like you drive a toy
toy car. <laughs> like, like you literally drive a car. Like, you guys know the chop car in Fruit Battleground, but it wouldn't be too good for fighting, maybe. Now, if the power was in Blocks Fruits and they made it so if you touch the player, that's it. They're a toy until they die. That's crazy. Now, she was only defeated in the anime by our god Usa. And it was by pure level. There's no way anybody was ever beating this girl. If she sneaks you, I guarantee she beats Kaido, Shanks. If they don't know she exists and what her powers are. But out of these 10, you tell me what fruit you would want out of the Blocks Fruits. And also, give me some more ideas so I can make them come to life. And hopefully the devs will see so we can get these fruits in the game.